first stop is Bagel Pub. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, these glasses, I cannot even see myself in like the receiver or whatever this thing is called, the, the viewfinder. But anyway, I'm right here. This is my first stop at Bagel Pub. I'm gonna have a good New York City bagel, New York City style. Let's go. So well lit. Most if not all the holiday decorations seem to be up. The official unveiling of the Saks Fifth Avenue holiday windows is tomorrow as well as the lighting ceremony which I took a little bit of video of outside. But here I'm up at the cosmetics level and it's so bright and so nice. Like look at this behind me. It's like photograph central here. But yeah I'm gonna take a look around. Oh my gosh, I just saw Melody Hobson. We were both in Louis Vuitton. We, she was with her daughter and two women. I think one of them was probably her assistant because she was stack, She was like carrying a clipboard um, or like a stack of papers. And then one was probably her personal shopper because she was like just talking to her about things that she was seeing and she was with her daughter. 
and she and I were both looking at the same like little um, Louis Vuitton like trinkets like for a little girl like one of those little purses that little girls can wear and I talked to her because her sales assistant came to get it while my sales assistant was about to get it and I said I turned to Melody and I said oh I'm sorry were you were you gonna look at this and then she said no 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 you're you're fine go for it I was literally just talking to Rolanda about her and how freaking obsessed I am with her and how I watched all as many videos of her speaking as I could get my hands on recently. And I just freaking talked to her. Like, I talked to her. And like, she just was so chic and just so, just amazing how she was just floating through the store. I was, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I didn't pan out because she was like with her daughter and like the store was kind of crowded. And so I didn't really, I really didn't want to like draw too much attention to her. Like she's just minding her business shopping. I don't want to do too much. Um, so yeah, that happened. And Kelly Clarkson was also in the, in the same Louis Vuitton at the same time, but um, no offense to Kelly Clarkson, but I didn't care. Um, Melody Hobson was there, so my day was just made. My whole entire month was just made. Maybe even my year, honestly. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead. Thought my raps were the facts and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in a grave. When I die, I put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Lil CC, let it slap. So I am at MoMA. Look at this really cool installation behind me. It's like waves of color moving in and out of the screen. It's really cool. Um, I got free tickets from my hotel, so I said, okay, why not come? So I got the tickets. I just happened to be over here because I wanted to go to the St. Regis and the Penins and the um, Baccarat bars, but they're not open until 4, and it's like 3.15 right now. So here we are. Let's take a look at the MoMA. Really living large, she ain't all with a Mac. When you niggas think it's small in the mall with a rat. Roll with us if you really want to get it. Go get a half a million in the sprinter. Phone ringing, bitches know a big tipper. I got the hook up in the really no limit. Dead brokers in you nigga DNA. Ricky Smile is indicated with the hate. Little nigga just another state case. Very nine motherfucker chase bank time to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas push it so I gotta rebuy it. The nigga tripping like I got a Z and dollars. Got the trap jumping like time. When I free pop, then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. Homie squad, but we all smoke the lobs. Rich niggas in the middle being modest Cause the way I do my deals Never treat it like I bought this new house You could DM my account My DM six figures and I'm counting Nine figures was the goal Till I get the E niggas ain't living So bury my with me off the When I die, I put my money in a grave I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place Really just slap every nigga in a race I really might tap till this nigga on my face let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask and a cake. Now I'm like, nah, love them good, go away. Ain't a baby. Trying to make some serious change. I'm warring my mind. Trying to make some serious change. Bar and it's so beautiful in here. 
here. I took you around a little bit. But I'm gonna order now. I'm gonna try and get a good bourbon cocktail and then move on to another cocktail bar. I will let you know how it is. We have uh, the classics, we consider classic for us, uh -huh. and then just regular standard classics that So I am about to taste the signature Baccarat cocktail, okay? I may not be able to play my voice, so I may have to do a voiceover because of this, whatever the hell is playing. So I'm gonna try it. By the way, this is their special bullet bourbon made exactly and only for Baccarat. Cheers. Wow. This is so smooth. And look at that ice block too. So cool. Super smooth. Okay, so I'm getting a little lesson on bourbon here. And basically, there's a bunch of staves that Bur Maker's Mark made specifically for Baccarat. And I, I'm forgetting everything he told me, to be honest. But these are the steps. Now, what kind of steps? I don't really know. But they're steps. But it's good. <laughs> I love bar hopping. <laughs> So that Baccarat Old Fashion was a $60 cocktail. It is the most expensive cocktail I had ever had. Honestly, it was really delicious. Was it worth $60? Kind of? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm that girl. Like, it was it was really good. Like, damn, $60? Oof. Off to the St. Regis. Dinner at the St. Regis. No, drinks at the St. Regis. Fabulous. Don't try to come back to me. Okay, so I just finished drink this, drinks at the St. Regis. Um, I had truffle dusted popcorn with um, my bourbon drink. I don't know, he made something special. So when I went to the chat with, the bartender Nate and Sheldon, we became friends. And he recommended that I go to the St. Regis and talk to his guy that he trained. And he'll make me something nice. And it was delicious what he made me. So I'm in the train station. My phone is dying, so this is not why. So I'm actually gonna tap out in a second. But I just wanted to like give some story to the vlog because that's what, what that's what makes vlogs good in my opinion, just a consistent story. So I'm going home. 
home. <laughs> I'm going back to my hotel to charge my phone a little bit and then like re-up, like decide where, where dinner's gonna happen because this is all on the fly. So deciding where dinner's gonna happen, where after dinner entertainment and then after after dinner entertainment is gonna happen. So I'll be back. Stop oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down. Trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Uh, baby, uh, where did these niggas be at when they said they going out? It's not that. Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Uh, I'm so mad at niggas so happy I can't even listen to them. Anytime that I run into somebody, it must be a victory lap. Hey, Shotty come sit on my. Okay. Somebody, 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 somebody. okay. Y'all knew how I was pissed off, how pissed off I was right now. And my room not getting housekeeping after I called to confirm they were gonna be housekeeping. Very annoying. Anyway, I took the train downtown and I'm going to CCLO. The bartender at the St. Regis recommended that it's a really good um, Italian restaurant besides Carbone, which was kind of far and I couldn't get a reservation. So I'm sure I could finagle something, but it was too far. So I'm just gonna go to this and then um, see what's next. Thank God I found it. It is so cold. I was like, why the hell did I come out in this cold? I was contemplating my life's decisions, but then I realized this weather don't run me. So here we are. and a side of red sauce so I can taste the red sauce. I'm waiting. I mean, this place is hot. Uh, Salmiam Wong. And this might be the end of my food tour. I don't know, I still haven't gotten my grilled slice of pizza. I wanted to get my, um, my hot dog at the mark, but it was too far. And I've been eating so much today. I can barely roll myself all the way uptown to go get that hot dog. So maybe next time. I do leave, I do check out tomorrow at 2 p.m. So time will tell whether that happens. So yeah, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm starving, starving, starving. Until then. Take the rest home. This I will eat. Pasta I can only eat the next day. This is this is amazing. Cheers. Okay, some final grades. The white sauce amazing. The red sauce giving punch tomato paste that my mom uses for rice and stew. Anyway, so not only do I know restaurants in LA. I also know restaurants on different turfs because I just chose the most delicious Italian restaurant called Carmine's and it seemed old school. It seemed like it's been around for a while. It seemed like it's noteworthy. And as soon as I, so I looked on Google, I think it was like highly rated and a bunch of people had rated it. So when I got in there, it was packed. Sorry, knew it was good. And this is a Monday night, random. 
So I already knew it was about to be good. And this food, whoo! I, and I don't even usually take food home. I took this home. It's bomb. Carmine's NYC near Times Square. Don't even ask any questions. Just go. So I just got back to my vibey room and honestly, ooh, there are two more things to do on the list. There's the jazz club and then there's the LOL comedy club. I want to do neither because I want to just chill out in my PJs, look at this amazing view and vibe. Seriously. And just vibe. That's what I want to do. So listen, that's what I want to do. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for coming with me. I still have more hours left. Honestly, it's like almost 11 and my 24 hours in New York does not end until tomorrow at noon. So listen, I'm gonna check back in with y'all tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so here I am. It's the next morning. Hey Siri, pause. It's the next morning and I'm going to finish out my 24 hours in New York by grabbing a slice, a New York City slice at Joe's Pizza and then finishing it off at Rise LA, which is a new spot where you can do a virtual reality uh, fly over New York City and also see some cool fashion. So I'm excited about that. This is all before I take off today at four and I still have about two more hours left and so until noon. And so I'm gonna complete my 24 hour uh, in, in uh, New York now, okay? Let's go. Come on. Hello, hello, hello. So we are walking in Times Square, literally. I am being very, very cautious because there are actually a lot of people in here. So I just wanna make sure my camera doesn't get stolen. Okay, so I am here in the iconic Times Square. I'm taking a stroll down to Joe's Pizza. I have about two more hours left of my 24 hours in NYC video. And I'm gonna grab a pizza pizza, a piece of pizza at Joe's. And then I'm gonna go to Rise LA where it's this sort of virtual reality ride flying over New York City. So I think that that's gonna be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so let's enjoy it, let's go. the chat wall hotel i'm gonna go to the lobby bar and have a drink before i go to rise new york city because that's where i'm gonna be like the virtual reality kind of flying all over new york city and i think that it would be cool to have a nice cocktail right before to make the ride a little bit wooier you know what i mean well, just a little bit just a little bit but anyway um this is my first of a few five-star hotels that i would love to go to let's see if i can fit it all in um just to have a drink at the lobby bar because that's just my vibe i'm sorry 
but that's my vibe.
step out Yes, I'm in now Cut your edge out To some ice spoke you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now Got me one though You so, you so, you Baby, baby, baby I've been on my hands in my shit I try to get from the rules And the I will be I just wanna know if you're my friend I just wanna know if you're 